hot. We're out here flying a drone in the sun. Um, <laughs> it's hot. We're out flying a drone for a development profile video. We're in Adamstown at the moment, just near Meriwether the High School. We're gonna do this bit over in the park first because we're, we've got some shade to hang out in. Uh, and so we're just gonna get coverage of things that are around us that are like selling points of the property. And then we're heading over and doing a block shot. And then, I don't know what I'm saying. It's too hot. What else it's do we too need? hot it's to too think hot about to things. Think yeah. What I'm trying to say for this vlog. That's where we're at. Um, but then Smith and I got to run around and get some lifestyle footage. And Does he think creativity? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because it affects your way. No, it's bad. It affects yeah. your brain. It's... Uh, it makes you just go. Oh, we're fish eye creative. The fish is getting cooked right now. That's what's happening. <laughs> we're getting steamed. <laughs> our extra challenge is doing our shoot while staying cool. That's our yeah, goal now. That's, that's the challenge of today. All right, let's go for it. So we don't have vultures in Australia, but when it gets really hot, we have these these little birds of death. So they're called magpies, and they are, for anyone who's not in Australia, most of our audience is, but for anyone who's not in Australia, these things will swoop you, they are super aggressive, they will fly down and attack you, no matter what, you walk within a kilometer of their nest, and they just think, attack, I've got to fight that thing. They're like the crows fighting the drones, except with people. I hate them. <laughs> I don't like birds, if you can tell. <laughs> also, fun fact, apparently 14% of our audience is American. There you go, American 14%. Yeah. That's some Australia facts for you. And 2% are this, German. Don't come to this country, everything's trying to fight you. <laughs> Everything. Oh. Flying it in from the... Oh. A oh, Christmas beetle. Yeah, that'd be a dog. Essentially. Cattle country. Just gonna put little things everywhere, are you? Pretty much. He's somewhere up there. There we are. I hit the yaw. What? I didn't hit the yaw limit. Oh, I wouldn't let me turn for some reason. Um, Alright, well, let's. So I'm gonna just turn this pot boy around and point it at our development. There it is, that's where the development's gonna be. Yep. And so we're gonna lift off from there. Swoop around and show off all the stuff there is in Newcastle. Hmm. Having a bit of trouble. I'm just gonna restart my thing because it keeps just dicking up for no reason. What's up? Want to see something cool? Oh, my other one's coming. Oh, wow. New server, boy! Oh, it's happy up for the it's server. The what, sorry? The server, we, we've got a, oh, yeah, got we, a new boy coming in. Got a new, that's the new editing computer. Oh, yeah. It's what we added on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for, uh, for our 16K videos. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, plain quake. No. Um, yeah, no, it's a new server. We're getting getting more jobs, uh, and we're shooting at we're shooting higher resolution footage, and you know it takes up more space. So uh, we had to retire the old one, and and uh, we've upgraded to something pro. So we get a lot more space now. Yeah. If you want, we have. I'm guessing these are all in raid. So that's a RAID 6. RAID 6. 8 terabyte drives. Beautiful. Uh, 2 drive fault tolerance. Mm -hmm. And we're putting, uh, I think, maybe a 2 or 3 gig link back to the switch. Yep. So it's like 8 times the storage capacity from the previous <laughs> one. But also, this one's actually got like a fairly decent microprocessor in it. And like it's got its own dedicated RAM, so it will handle the jobs. Oh, sweet. Yeah, we'll like the information. Yep. A little quicker. Ooh. There you go. What's next? So we're over to do the block shot now. Mm -hmm. It's just a top-down shot showing how big 
the space is going to be and then after we've done that we're going to pop over because there's another park over that way we can get some really long fast tracking shots from super high up sick nice so we'd want to be in shade anyway but it's actually super helpful for this because it means we're not in the shot exactly so hiding out underneath this tree fulfills two purposes one we don't get skin cancer and two we stay out of our shot it has a sneaky third one that's not as uh not as necessary because of how bright this screen can get but it keeps me able to see the screen without turning up to a thousand percent brightness <laughs> um, which is always useful hmm. Yeah, wind wasn't helping, but we're fine. So, um, we're just taking a quick break, first of all, to not die of heat stroke, but also to um, double check that we're hitting all the points that we need to. So we have our notes for the development here, and we're just gonna go through and See, see what the selling points are and just make sure that we've got, got something for all of them. So there may or may not be a fire in the middle of our shot. Oh, uh, that's Australia in summer. <laughs> not even summer yet. This is ridiculous. Mm. Middle of, it's the end of spring. Yeah, no. I'll make right. it work. And if you want to come back this way again, yep. I'm just going to go the other way. Okay. All right, action. Drone location number four, four for the day, uh, not four for the day, but four for this property. So we're going to uh, just pop around to where the Fernley track starts. Just do a raised shot there to show that, look, there's a bike track there, because that's one of the uh, one of the sales points, it's local bike tracks. Um, yeah. Five meters up here, and then just straight up, and I'll just hand down over there. Okay. <laughs> Hey, direct a drone. Dunk. Alright, here we go. Action. Successful launch. All that effort is all in there. Well done. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So now we've got to get all the uh, the ground handheld lifestyle footage that we've done with the drone. And it's a very windy day, so you don't want to be taking off the camera lenses because uh, we've got to swap to our long lens. You don't want to be taking off lenses and exposing the sensors to wind. So we're doing it first of all in the boot, get a little bit more protection, and then also with the sensor facing away from the direction the wind is coming because we don't want anything whipping up in it because sensors are expensive, man. Really hard to fix. Yeah. Alright, so we're back in the office. Successfully not died from heat exposure. Just failed. It's nice and aircon. And we're just going to uh, drop all our footage, pack away the gear, and then it's time for some Mario Party. Oh. 